understanding, to take it to heart, an English phrase explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the beautiful intricacies of the English language. Today, we're exploring a phrase that you might have heard but might not fully grasp its meaning, to take it to heart. This idiom is a fantastic example of English's emotional depth, and understanding it can add a new layer to your communication skills. Let's unravel its meaning together. To take it to heart, is an idiomatic expression used when someone is deeply affected or moved by something, usually a comment, criticism, or event. It implies that the person has taken the matter very seriously, often allowing it to influence their emotions or feelings. The heart, in many cultures, is considered the seat of emotions. So taking something to heart means it has reached the core of your emotional being. You can use, to take it to heart, in various contexts. Reacting to criticism, when someone feels deeply affected by feedback or criticism, they might take it to heart. It shows they're considering the critique seriously, perhaps even more deeply than intended. Advice and concerns. If someone offers advice or expresses concern, and you pay sincere attention to it, you might say you're taking it to heart. It indicates that the advice has made a significant impact on you. Emotional situations. In emotional discussions or events, saying you take it to heart can express that you're profoundly moved or affected by what's happening. To better understand how to use to take it to heart, let's look at some examples. After the performance review, Jamie took the feedback to heart and worked on improving her skills. I hope you don't take it to heart, he said, after offering constructive criticism. She took his words to heart and decided to make a significant change in her life. Understanding phrases like, to take it to heart, can enrich your communication skills and help you express emotions more accurately in English. Remember, it's not just about the words but the feelings and sincerity behind them. We hope this video has helped clarify this heartfelt expression for you. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to take our advice to heart as you continue learning English. Until next time, happy learning!